So, the steps to making coffee. You're boiling your water. Mm, the fire is actually hot. It's boiling. So, yeah, get in there. Nope, not up. Then you gotta go over here, and you gotta get your filter. That's the teapot. This is your filter. You put it in position for the making of the coffee. This is my Pyrex filter. Here you go. Glass. Ribbed for her pleasure. This is a reservoir, or otherwise known as a small dipping bowl or sauce. And uh, not to be used for coffee, but is making a great effort at doing so. And then this is my designer coffee stand, which I got for Valentine's Day. There it is. It's beautiful. Made of recycled Oregon walnut. Designed by a furniture designer. Quite lovely piece of furniture. Then we go over here. You grab your beans. I have mine in a care jar. I'd rather it was a ball jar, but care works good. Then you go over here and you set it down. And you go back. And you get yourself your grinder. This is my modern grinder. $20 at Target. It's pretty cheap. So, you take the lid off. Then, you open up your coffee. And I'm not going to do that left handed. But I will pretend that I did it left handed. Alright. I like to eyeball it. That's probably too much. Still a little too much. Um, there we go. Just a little over that silver line. See the silver line? Just a little bit over that for one cup of coffee. This is Anodyne's reaching bowl espresso blend. It's uh, super strong and super lovely and I quite enjoy it. Although it is really, really strong. Alright, so that goes back up there. Then you peruse the coffee cups. Although I think I'm going to use one of the brown cups today just because they're a little larger. I do prefer to use my mustache cup or the intelligentsia cup, which is quite nice. It's also very designer. There's a little star in the bottom. Been told it looks a little Soviet, which I kind of enjoy. So we'll go over here and we'll grab the brown cup. Okay. Then you gotta get your filter ready. So, you've grabbed your filter. You open this up and stick it in the cone. There you go. And you're gonna have to grind the beans. The water is still boiling. Not yet. I'm going to turn it up. Make it hot. <clears throat> there we go. Plug in the grinder. Let it rip.
Okay, I usually let it grind until it's so, just about so. I'm going to do it one more. It's all about the feel. I think that that looks okay. You don't want it to be too, too... You don't want it to be too fine. You also don't want it to be too thick. So I'm just going to keep this until I'm happy with it. I think that's a little better. Now it's a little finer. It's about so fine. She's so fine. She's so fine. Okay. Now, you'd think that this would go in here. Wait. Wait. It doesn't. You gotta set up the cup underneath the filter. Banana. Okay. Your water is almost to boil. You'll let it get all the way to boil. Close enough, I'm not waiting any longer. Alright. You don't want to burn yourself, so you've got to grab your oven mitt. Oven mitt. It's quite dirty, but it'll do. This part gets pretty hot. And, uh, this is an old thing, so I usually pop the top once, let the steam out, otherwise it's not going to work right. And then you do this. You pour the water over the filter. That releases the gross paper shit that's in the, or the gross paper texture and flavor that's in the filter. It also, it sort of adheres the filter to the side of the cone. There you go. And you add your beans. There you go. Empty. Empty. And I like to clean, keep a clean house, so after I do this, I usually put it back on the shelf. Like so. Okay. Bring this back, and I usually even it out. And then, trick taught to me by fine young gentlemen, you make a little divot there, so it has a direction. Okay. We give it a little pop, steam comes out, and then we start slowly pouring water, this might be too fast, into the center hole, causing the grounds to wet evenly and for there to be a nice even bloom. We just keep this going for 45 seconds approximately. I don't think I'm going to wait that long. So then I usually go around in concentric circles. I don't know if this is right, but this is how I do it. This one looks pretty good. Now, you're going to have to do some fancy switcheroo. See, it got a little too full, so I had to switch it out, and I didn't have an extra coffee cup set alongside, so that got pretty full pretty quickly. This is what happens when I make coffee. You gotta, gotta have some magic. So, there's your fresh cup of coffee. Banana. Coffee. Banana. There it is. And you're still brewing. 
quite wonderful sort of thing. Get a good shot of it from below. How about we do it this way since the rest of the video is that way. There you go. And there's your coffee cup. It's all this delicious coffee. Banana. Coffee. Banana. Then it has gone down through the filter and it circles you following the lines here. And then it goes into the center. Science! It's like science every time. Now it's your leftover. So now you have some leftover for your second cup. And that's how you make coffee.